Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review video on something that I was so excited for when I saw it on uh, Wet n Wild website, and it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and it is in this cute little bottle here, and it has the coolest little applicator ever. It's like a, uh, what do you call it, a spatula type of applicator? And they came out with this foundation, they came out with a powder, and they also came out with a concealer. So I ordered the concealer, but I think I got a color that's too dark. This is in light medium beige. Um, I think it's going to be too dark, but oh well. <laughs> I'm going to try to use it anyways. So it looks like that. Um, it's about the color of my skin. So we're going to try that out as well. And I'm so excited for this because it is photo focus and because I do YouTube videos and I'm taking a lot of pictures and taking a lot of video, um, this would be perfect for me if it's a good foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to put all the information right here like I always do so you guys can um, you know, know all the details and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is also cruelty free which is great. So apparently what this does and what they say that it does is it prevents flashback. So it's not going to give you that white cast with flash photography. So I'm going to give this a try with flash photography and see how it looks, you know, under flash because they said they tested it under seven light conditions to see if you would kind of have that white cast and they said that you don't get that. So that is why it's considered a photo foundation. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I got this shade in soft ivory, which is way too light for my skin. And I also got this color in soft beige, which I think is going to match me really well. So I'm going to use this one here. So first I'm going to apply a little bit of moisturizer. You can use whatever moisturizer that you're into right now. I'm using the H2O brand. Just apply that to my skin. So let's smell this and see how it smells. Whew, that smells very paint-like. It definitely has a strong paint scent to it. So as you can see, it's dripping down my hand, so it's definitely on the liquidy side. Nice. So I feel like this is great coverage. It's lightweight, but great coverage, which is an awesome combination because a lot of times I feel like when you have a good coverage foundation, it tends to be really heavy. This is extremely lightweight and it's very, like it blurs the skin really well, which is nice. I feel like it has like kind of like a blurring effect. Ooh, this is really nice, guys. I think I'm going to like it. So it definitely is, has a little bit of like a serum-y feeling to it, kind of like the Youthful Wear Spotless by Physicians Formula. You guys know I love that foundation because it just glides over the skin with like a serum-y type of like texture to it. This definitely has a little bit of that, not quite as much, but it definitely has that smooth, silky vibe to it. First layer, I'm going to say medium coverage. It's not light coverage, I would say. It's definitely medium. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of extra maybe right here on the chin, maybe right here. Um, but it's definitely not super, super duper heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this side of my face. So this is what it looks like with about one and a half coats. So it's one coat of foundation and then I just put a little bit more right here and like in my T-zone area. And I definitely would hold to what I said. It's definitely more medium coverage, but it blurs out your imperfections really, really nicely. And it's also lightweight, which I'm really liking about it. So I'm gonna be using this concealer. It's a little dark, so bear with me. I think what I'm gonna do is apply this to cover the circles because this does have a little bit of like a warmer undertone. I'm going in with two coats. This does cancel out my under eye circles though very nicely because of the color. Um, it's just not very highlighting. You might want to go in with maybe this color to do the dark circles and then go in with the lighter shade for um, brightening. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. This is the same photo focus line. It's very finely milled I would say. I mean for being such an like, inexpensive brand, I feel like it's pretty finely milled. This, you guys know I love these little sponges. I'm just going to put it right here. This doesn't come with a brush or a sponge, by the way. I'm just going to dab it under my eyes.
in my T-zone area. And I'm also going to take a brush and blend everything out. So this powder feels a little heavy. Like it felt really good, the foundation, until I put this powder on and the powder is what made me feel slightly heavy. We are gonna go with it because sometimes when you use like a finishing spray or a setting spray, that can really, really change how it feels on your skin. All right guys, so I have my makeup finished and I have to say, the powder definitely gave me a little bit of extra coverage. So if you didn't feel like you got enough coverage from maybe the foundation alone, the powder definitely did it for me. It was a pretty heavy powder and I felt like after I applied it, I was like, like it felt heavy on the skin, but the foundation didn't feel heavy. So I think it's just the powder that's heavy feeling. Um, but as soon as I sprayed my finishing spray, like I said, every time I spray this on my skin, I always feel like it makes me feel less cakey and dry. Oh, you guys, if you don't have this or a finishing spray in general, you have to get one. They will change your life. I literally, oh, they're just like the best thing ever. It just makes your skin feel so beautiful and just, just do it, just do it. So I think the foundation seems pretty awesome. I'm totally digging the foundation. Um, I really like the coverage of it. I really like that it's buildable and I really like that it is lightweight and it feels light on the skin. The powder, I do like the combination if I'm going for something like extremely flawless. Um, but I don't know if I like the combination like for every day. It just felt really, really like a bit much. I'm gonna take a picture actually with my flash on so I can see if there's any flashback. So let's do this. Oh, that's nice. Let me do it from this angle. Um, I feel like it looks pretty good on camera. Definitely no flashback. I feel like it's a little bit cool toned looking on camera. Like it doesn't quite match my skin like it does in person. Um, but as far as flashback goes, I feel like it's decent. Uh, and I don't feel like it's super, super bright. So that's good. Um, so yeah, that is my review for this moment in time. I'm gonna go take my daughter for lunch. My youngest is at daycare today, so it's just me and my firstborn together, just hanging out like it used to be. And I'm gonna take her out to lunch and we're gonna have just like a mommy-daughter day and it's gonna be super fun. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'll check back in a few hours and let you guys know my thoughts on it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it is about 9.15 right now, so it's pretty late. I've had this foundation on since like 12, maybe 11. So it's been on my face for a really long time, but I can say that this foundation lasted really, really well. It was extremely long lasting and it was extremely matte looking. Like I didn't get like that oily look to my skin hardly at all throughout the day, which was amazing. The concealer, by the way, now that I think about it, the concealer did crease. I was looking, um, in my little mirror, you know, in the car where you can always tell if your makeup's looking good or bad because it's like super natural light. And it was probably a couple hours after I applied the foundation and my concealer was super, super creased. So if you hate creasy concealer, this was definitely a creasy concealer. Um, but I did really like the foundation and the powder. I thought they were great. I'll definitely be using it, especially when I'm filming or taking a lot of pictures or something like that. Um, I really liked the lasting power and I thought it was really really great So I think this is a two thumbs up foundation. I'm definitely going to be using it more. I can almost guarantee it um, One thing that I am going to try since I got a lighter shade of the foundation I'm going to try putting that under my eyes. It's like a highlighting concealer or high highlighting foundation um, So I'm going to be trying that to see how it works, but for the most part, I think this is pretty awesome and Yeah it does what it claims. There's no flashback and it looks really good on film. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want to see more of these in the future or if there's any foundations that you want me to review. Please keep in mind that I am cruelty free. So make sure that the brands are cruelty free if you do recommend them for me to review. But um, yeah, I think that's it guys. So I will talk to you in my next video and I hope you have an amazing day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.